Hey guys, this is Kelly with City Slickers Homesteaders. So today I wanted to show you since these little tomato plants have gotten so big <laughs> that I need to start pruning them. So I wanted to kind of show you. We don't do very heavy duty pruning. At least I don't. My husband doesn't like to prune them at all. But um, I noticed last year when we didn't prune our tomatoes at all. They ended up getting, um, what's it called, uh, blight, I believe it is. So now I want to make sure. So I like to take off, you know, some of the bottom stems and just some of the ones that, you know, generally I like to prune them before they get this big because then there's a lot more to prune, but I try to get some of these side ones that aren't necessarily part of the main stem but see how like it's split right there so more than likely this one's a sucker but obviously since it's that big now i'm not going to worry about pulling it off some people do but i'm not going to worry about it we've actually got a sucker that started down there so but i did go ahead and pull that one so, I'll just go through here, and they're pretty easy to pull off. Um, I'm pruning the tomatoes. That one doesn't want to come off, so I'm just going to use my nail. Oh, and there's like a little viney thing growing. I will tell you, this has been amazing for preventing the weeds from coming up, so that's been nice. So, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to go through these. Um, it's kind of hard to do it one-handed, so I'll probably just pause this, do a couple plants, and then show you guys how they look afterwards. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I did these couple here. And you can kind of see where that kind of opens up the airflow here. Now, I didn't pull any of the, like I said, since this kind of split or more or less was like a sucker, I didn't pull that just because it's so established. And I didn't pull anything that already had flowers on it. So I'm going to do a few more of these and then I'll show you what they look like. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I just pretty much did enough really at the bottom just so there's some more airflow. You don't really want any leaves um, hanging down to the ground because when the water splashes up, that's when you can get, you know, like spots and fungus and everything on these. So that's why it's a good idea to at least prune them to where there's not anything um, hanging down on the ground. So what I did want to kind of show you, if I can find it on one of these when they're little you generally want to kind of pull off the suckers if you want to do more of like just a tall branch i mean if you don't mind them which we don't kind of bushing out like this then you don't have to worry about it but let's see if i can find an example here so like with these even the this one back there where there's like you can see which ones you know generally if the beefier ones the main stock like you have one coming out or you know one coming out what they call like the armpit between two branches that's what they consider a sucker plant and actually if your plants are established enough <clears throat> you can actually pull that sucker off I've seen and put it in some water and it'll eventually actually grow some roots and you can have like another tomato plant so but we don't mind our plants getting bushy i just want to always make sure that there's not you know any leaves hanging down so like this one because see how let me try to so like see how the leaves i can get this to focus here are kind of like spotted and a little bit brown and yellow there we go that's I believe what they call blight so that's just from 
them hanging on the ground and water splashing up on them and everything like that. So we want to try so to avoid that. So this is what I've gotten so far just from the probably about five plants <laughs> I've done so far. So let me scoot down here. Sorry, the camera's kind of being all jumbly. So, but like this right here, so that's more or less kind of like a sucker. So, I'm going to break that one off. That was a stubborn one. So, my bigger plants that we originally got are still doing pretty good. I've kind of been keeping up on those, but these smaller ones um, kind of just cut away from me really quickly. So, I don't know how well you guys will be able to see this, but let's go through and pull off some of those, you know, just lower, lower stems, you know, like I said, I don't want to pull any that have any flowers on them, so if they're like longer ones, I'll check to see if they have any flowers, and if they don't, then I'll go ahead and pull those. Just so we don't also have any like low bearing fruit that would be able to hang down on the ground either. So. I need a little trellis for that one here soon. Okay, so let me stand up. So I can show you guys these a little bit better. All right, this is the neighbor's dog barking. Okay. So, as you can see, these look, you know, a little tidier. And they're going to be able to get a little bit more airflow. They've got lots of flowers on them. So, they'll be looking good. Why don't you go get changed, baby? daughter had to go play in the uh, hose. Because it's my birthday. Yes, it's her birthday today, so told her she could play in the hose for a little bit, especially since we actually have the AC working. It's super nice. See, it's kind of hard because the sun is so stinking bright. But look at all of these blooms it's absolutely awesome I'm gonna pick up these uh, tomatoes stems and put them in our compost pile her playing in the water <laughs> she's turning eight today and we're gonna do our little family birthday party on Saturday for her. well her and mine because mine was on Monday so, yeah, look at all these blooms. I'm so excited to see how many tomatoes we get this year. There's so many blooms, especially on these, like, little cherry tomato ones. We've got, I mean, actually probably need to do some of these, prune on some of these big tomatoes too, but I might do that later. It's getting toasty. we got some little cherry tomatoes in here. That one looks like it was a fused one. We've got some cherry tomatoes there, some here. Um, let's see. Got like a whole cluster of them there. Look at all this cluster of flowers on that one. Then we got our I think these are the big girl tomatoes, so we'll be excited to see how big these get. And there's a couple here. And then I've got one right there. So, got a couple started. Now we're just waiting on them all to... There we go for all the flowers to start fruiting. So we've had to 
few bees around, a lot of butterflies and stuff like that. So, but look at this. Look at all of our radishes coming up. I'll have to thin through those and all the little carrots there in the first couple rows are coming up real nicely. I'll have to start going through and um, we, you know, thinning those out. I haven't even started pruning some of our volunteers because they're just so crazy. But look, we have corn. There's actual corn growing. I'm so excited. I noticed that this morning that they're actually little corn cobs growing. So that's super cool. Then we've got a whole bunch of little tomatoes on our volunteers here. Oh, sorry. I'm trying not to get my finger in there. There you go. And our green beans are starting to kind of slow down. That's why we uh, planted some new ones down there. So we knew these were getting to the end of their life cycle here. Okay, guys. So... I think that's it. My main thing was I just wanted to kind of show you pruning just to make sure you keep your airflow in your tomatoes so then that way you know you don't have to worry about any mold or uh, blight or anything like that. So just wanted to show you guys that. If you have any comments or anything leave the comments below and I'll get back with you and then we will see you guys later. Have a great day and blessed be.